Hello, my name is Brad Hopper, VP of Product Strategy for Tipco's Analytics Portfolio. So let's get started with Spotfire 10. As you can see, the look and feel is completely different. Here we have easy get started videos to help you self-enable, <laughs> also links to the community and links to the documentation and so on. Let's browse for a couple of files. I'm going to actually open three files in this example, and you'll see that the system automatically tells me that two of those files are related and suggests that I merge them together. The third file is unrelated. I'll just go ahead and say OK, and in comes the data. Now you'll see right away we have some choices, some guidance given to us, and I'll start out here with search. I'm going to type in promotions, and immediately I'll get a recommendation the heuristic recommendation here that we're used to seeing, but we're also seeing some AI-driven recommendations. Here, Spotfire is telling me that there's a relationship between promotions and the different market segments. So certain segments are experiencing more promotion. If we scroll down a bit, we'll see another recommendation that's actually between three different variables, promotions, market segments, and whether this particular customer is on our to-call list. Now let's just scroll to the bottom and I'll, I'll pick this additional recommendation here of promotions versus variation from territory. We can also use the search bar to create some pretty sophisticated visualizations just by typing in what we're looking for. But one of the things we found in our user testing is that users don't always want to type in the name of the column. Sometimes they want to type in values from that column. For, for example, here I'm going to type in share by area and grocery, where grocery is actually you know, part of the data itself. And we'll get this beautiful tree map and I'll choose this for the analysis. Now in addition to drawing visualizations, you can actually more or less drive the whole application from the search bar. For example, if I type in the word retail, um, I get some prescriptive suggestions as to what to do with the results of that information. For example, maybe mark the records in the data set that uh, contain the phrase retail. So NLP-based search and machine learning driven recommendations are part of this augment intelligence approach of the AX experience, helping you to better utilize your knowledge to find insights. Now let's go take a look at the data panel. The data panel has been around for a little while, but notice that we now have the same machine learning driven recommendations available from the data panel in response to the variables that you choose. Now you can also toggle over to get the classic column properties based view here where you can do transformations and so on. But notice if I select multiple variables, I continue to get recommendations, but now it's the classic heuristic driven recommendations based on all of the variables that I choose. And this little detail here is important as well. If you click on this checkbox, you can multi-select without using the control key, something really important for delivering authoring on mobile devices. Now let's take a look at the new data canvas. So you know we've been working on data wrangling for quite some time. That's where all of the transformations that you do visually in the analysis are automatically captured here and displayed on the data canvas. With the Spotfire 10 release and the AX experience, it's now possible to edit all of the transformations that you performed and even add new ones. Here we can see the merge and the add rows transaction that we performed at the very beginning of this demonstration, and you can edit it. And um, you could see that you could add more rows or add more columns wherever in this workflow that you'd like. And also down here, we can see that it's possible to add new transformations into the list for this particular portion of the workflow on the canvas. So Spotfire 10 is giving us automatic capturing of these transformations and authoring from the data canvas. All right, the next big feature of the AX experience is real-time awareness. I'm gonna go search for a data connector called Spotfire Data Streams. That's a new SKU that we have on offer that federates access to over 80 different real-time streams in the marketplace. That could be Kafka, OSI Pi, Fix, Bloomberg, Reuters, etc. Just about anything that you could want. And the important thing here is we can bring this real-time information into the same application that we have the historical or contextual data and make it possible to blend the two together. Let's go to our redesigned visualization panel and choose a line chart to represent this real-time data. Now, we also have some special functions for real-time data. Here, for example, let's shorten the time window down to about three minutes, and now you can see the data is moving. Amazing. 
Spotfire can even help us relate the historical data and the real-time data together. If we go and click on the customer ID variable, we can see that we'll get a recommendation for how to link these two together. We can accept that recommendation, and you'll notice right away that there are marked records in the real-time table that we previously marked in the history. And if we now grab a bunch of new records, you can see that uh, there's a linkage that's been established between the real-time and the historical data.